January 24th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Matthew chapter 24 from the New Testament Now as Jesus was going out of the temple courts and walking away, his disciples came to show him the temple buildings. And he said to them, Do you see all these things? I tell you the truth, not one stone will be left on another, all will be torn down. As he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, his disciples came to him privately and said, Tell us when these things will happen, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age. Jesus answered them, Watch out that no one misleads you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will mislead many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Make sure that you are not alarmed, for this must happen, but the end is still to come. For nations will rise up in arms against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these things are the beginning of birth pains. Then they will hand you over to be persecuted and will kill you. You will be hated by all the nations because of my name. Then many will be led into sin, and they will betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many. And because lawlessness will increase so much, the love of many will grow cold. But the person who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole inhabited earth as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken about by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. The one on the roof must not come down to take anything out of his house, and the one in the field must not turn back to get his cloak. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing their babies in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for then there will be great suffering, unlike anything that has happened from the beginning of the world until now or ever will happen. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe him. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Remember, I have told you ahead of time. So then if someone says to you, look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. Or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe him. For just like the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so the coming of the Son of Man will be. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man arriving on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he will send his angels with a loud trumpet blast, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Learn this parable from the fig tree. Whenever its branches become tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also you, when you see all these things, know that he is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away. But as for that day and hour, no one knows it, not even the angels in heaven, except the Father alone. For just like the days of Noah were, so the coming of the Son of Man will be. For in those days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, 
until the day Noah entered the ark. And they knew nothing until the flood came and took them all away. It will be the same at the coming of the Son of Man. Then there will be two men in the field, one will be taken and one left. There will be two women grinding grain with a mill, one will be taken and one left. Therefore, stay alert, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have been alert and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is the faithful and wise slave, whom the master has put in charge of his household, to give the other slaves their food at the proper time? Blessed is that slave whom the master finds at work when he comes. I tell you the truth. The master will put him in charge of all his possessions. But if that evil slave should say to himself, My master is staying away a long time, and he begins to beat his fellow slaves and to eat and drink with drunkards, then the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not foresee, and he will cut him in two and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. God, I know that every generation believes that the end of times is coming. And like you said, none of us know. In fact, I find it interesting that even the devil himself doesn't know. But I think it speaks volumes that every generation feels like it's the end of times. That from the world you created and and I think what you hoped it would be, maybe, to what it is now, it definitely feels like the end of time. So many people believe in themselves rather than you. So many people believe in lies. So many people are cruel and hate-filled. Although I don't agree with people who prophesize about the end of the world, especially based on what you tell us, I guess I do kind of understand where they're coming from. My heart aches with what is shown on TV and on the billboards and what kids say in school and what people wear or don't wear. How people treat each other. The degrading of our society has been constant. With every little bit of shift to doing what we want to do rather than what you would have us do. And I don't know where, at what point it stops. So yeah, I, I get why we always think it's the end of times for our generation. Because it seems like it can't get any worse. But you sent your son to us to make it better. I can't even imagine living here on earth without the hope that, that I have in your son. I don't know what in the world would cause me to want to get up in the morning, much less live another day in this. We don't know when you're coming back. I, for one, kind of hope it's soon. <laughs> but we don't know when you're coming back. So in the meantime, so that nobody else has to experience life without you and your love and your grace and your mercy and your forgiveness... I pledge my life to telling others about you, God. To 
to sharing your joy with others. That they have hope when they get up in the morning. That making the world not about themselves, but about you, is so incredible. God, I just want to glorify you. I don't want to get caught up in whether it's the end of days or, or all of the bad stuff of the earth. I just want to focus on your love and how that love can change a heart so dramatically like you did mine. So today, God, give me strength. Give me strength to go out into this world and show them the hope that you offer. Allow me to be a reflection of that hope. Let me be very alert at all times, not knowing when you'll come back. But definitely looking forward to when you do. In your son's name we pray. Amen.